Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be matching a perfume to a zodiac sign. So I've seen a couple people do this and I've always thought it was such a cool and like creative concept. I really made sure to kind of get a lot of research on each sign. That way I could really determine like the best perfume. And the challenge was that I had to choose a perfume out of my collection. So obviously I know there's probably perfumes out there that would probably be a lot more suitable for each sign but i had to do it based off of what i have it was really hard to like narrow one down for each one i'm very confident with the perfumes that i chose so a quick disclaimer i know a lot of people have a lot of doubts about zodiac signs and you know if you don't believe them and all of that which you know you can believe what you want a lot of people say that like zodiac signs are very like generic and that basically anybody can relate to any of the signs because they're just kind of like general characteristics first of all you have a whole birth chart and i'll link a website it's called cafe astrology where you can kind of get your entire birth chart because your birth chart is not just your sun sign which is the sign that everybody knows that's like you know your zodiac sign you also have a moon sign which is basically like your emotions you have a, your rising sign which is how other people see you there's just there's so much to your birth chart and so if you don't feel like you relate too much to your sun sign your zodiac sign I think it would be really cool to kind of like read upon it. I don't know. I think it's really interesting. I love that kind of stuff. This video is just supposed to be for fun. It's lighthearted. Don't take it too seriously. If I say that, you know, I choose a certain perfume for cancer because I think a cancer would love a sweet perfume and you hate sweet perfumes and you're a cancer, then you don't need to kill me. Um, well, if you're a cancer... So basically the way that I'm going to go about this video is I'm going to kind of give a little brief description of each of the signs and like characteristics and then I'm going to show you the perfume that I chose and why I chose it. So with all that being said, let's get on to the video. Okay, so first off, we're going to start off with my category, the fire signs. So the first sign I'm going to start off with, which is also the first sign of the zodiac, Aries. So this is my sign. I am an Aries. My birthday is April 7th. Aries is ruled by the planet Mars and Mars is the planet of war, which is why Aries have this reputation of being a little aggressive, which I can definitely relate to. But I think that Aries are very misunderstood because although like, yes, we're aggressive, I think it's just because we have so much like passion and like fire inside of us that maybe sometimes it can come out a little overbearing and a little intense at times. I think we're just very, very passionate people and sometimes a little aggressive, but I think we're very like caring people. Aries being the first sign is also the youngest sign of the zodiac. They are very ambitious, very adventurous. They're the youngest sign, so they're very high energy. We are super, super impulsive, hence my hair right now. Literally the day before I decided to cut my hair, I was like, oh, I really need to start doing some hair masks to grow out my hair. Really the next day I was like, I'm gonna chop off my hair today. And then I chopped off my hair. So that's basically an Aries for you. I just, I make very like irrational decisions. If I wanna like do something, I'm gonna do it right then and there. I don't usually wait. If I have an idea for something, I'm acting on it. But Aries are very bold, Not we're not subtle people. We kind of say things as they are, very blunt. The perfume that I chose for this was a no-brainer because this perfume describes an Aries perfectly and that is Alien from Thierry Mugler. This perfume is literally Aries. This is Aries in a perfume bottle. So this perfume has top notes of jasmine, it has woodsy middle notes and then it has base notes of amber. Basically, this is just like a really unique jasmine perfume. This is a fragrance much like an Aries that you have to kind of get to know. You know, you might not love it at first, but it'll, it'll warm up to you. It'll win your heart in the end. And I think that that reflects a lot with an Aries. It's such a good, just sexy, bold perfume. It makes an entrance. Altogether, I think that this is like a perfect perfume for an Aries. It's bold, it's very out there, it's in your face. That is my pick for an Aries. So the next fire sign is Leo. Now Leo is ruled by the sun and obviously the sun is the center of the universe and that is pretty much exactly what a Leo 
loves to be. Leos love to be the center of attention. They love to be loved. They're very self-confident people. They're very self-aware. They just love attention and they need to be loved by everybody. They need to feel accepted. They're very sophisticated and very, you know, obviously fiery. They're fire. They're still a fire sign. And they are crowd pleasers. So I felt like the perfect perfume for a Leo that perfectly embodies you know, the fiery, sweet, sexy is this guy right here. So this is Jimmy Choo Fever. So this perfume is delicious. This is such a sweet, sexy perfume. And it's not sweet in like a girly way. It's sweet in a very sophisticated, but like bold way. The top notes of this is grapefruit, lychee, and plum. And then you have middle notes of heliotrope, vanilla orchid, jasmine and orange blossom and then you have base no base notes have base notes of benzoin tonka bean sandalwood coffee hazelnut and vanilla i just think this is such a perfect blend of just sweet and fiery it's warm it's delicious it's sophisticated but it's also like playful and fun and i just think this is the perfect perfume for a leo it's a crowd pleaser for sure and Leo. It's a Leo. Oh. Okay, so the last fire sign is Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of luck and good fortune. My brother is a Sagittarius, and he's so lucky. He's so, like, easygoing. Everything just tends to, like, work out for him, which is the total opposite for me. Literally, for me, everything seems to go wrong, and then for him, he's just kind of, like, breezing through life effortlessly and everything just kind of falls into place you know he has all of his ish together that's pretty much a sagittarius they're very natural they know who they are they're unapologetic they're kind of just like this is me if you like it then good if not i don't i don't care they're super optimistic they have such a positive outlook on life and they're super blunt they don't sugarcoat anything you know what you see is what you get the perfect perfume for sagittarius is this this is burberry brit it's sophisticated it's classy but it still has that fire which i think is perfect for a sagittarius so the top notes of this is lime almond and pear and then you have middle notes of peony sugar candied almond and base notes of mahogany amber tonka bean and vanilla this is just this is just like a sweet classy perfume it's not too in your face but at the same time it is i have a perfume for every mood that i'm in and whenever i put this perfume on it's the days where i feel the most put together and that perfectly describes a sagittarius so that's why i chose this because it's just kind of like the perfume that you wear when things are going right you know you feel put together everything is going well and so that's why i chose this i think this is so good it's so sweet but there's some sort of like spiciness to it it's just it's just beautiful and i think it's a perfect perfume for sagittarius so next we're moving on to the earth signs first off i'm starting off with taurus so taurus is ruled by venus which is the planet of beauty attraction and love taurus people are super practical they're determined they're ambitious super headstrong i mean definition of a bull they are strong headed stubborn people tourist people love beautiful things they're kind of materialistic in that way but not in a bad way they just like things that look good they just like pretty things whether it's their environment or things that they surround themselves with they just appreciate beauty because you know their planet is venus so that's kind of in their nature so i felt like the perfect perfume for the taurus is Dior's Poison Girl. Now this perfume, just by the bottle, is stunning. It just looks like a little poison bottle. It's just so beautiful. Like when you look at this, you just think it's just, it's just beautiful. It looks like a little potion. It's just a feminine, romantic, warm, kind of like edible fragrance. It's definitely like a gourmand, so it has that like edible feel to it. And the top notes of Poison Girl is bitter orange lemon. And then you have middle notes of damask rose, grass rose, orange blossom with base notes of tonka bean, sandalwood, vanilla, almond, tulu, balsam, cashmere, and heliotrope. So it's kind of like a woody, powdery, sweet 
vanilla scent i just wanted to pick this because it's just beautiful it smells gorgeous and when you smell this you just think of like beautiful things i don't know i just love it i thought it was very fitting for the tourist woman okay next up for the earth signs we have virgo so virgos are ruled by mercury which is the planet of communication they are super like analytical people they're constantly just collecting data kind of like gathering details from everything that they see they're very detail oriented they're super like analytical and hard working people and that also makes them like super perfectionist they need everything to be perfect and that's what makes them confident. I feel like Virgos don't really like fuss. They don't like mess. They don't care for attention. They're just like simple, clean, and they let their work do the talking for them. So I felt like the perfect fragrance for a Virgo is this one. So this is Chanel Chance Ooh Fresh. There's a couple of Chanel Chances. This is the green one. When you smell this, it's just so clean and fresh. There's nothing complicated about this it's just like a simple and clean perfume so this has top notes of lemon and cedar and then there's middle notes of pink pepper water hyacinth and jasmine and then you have base notes of teakwood iris amber patchouli vetiver and white musk this fragrance i feel like because it's so clean it almost leans a little bit to like a masculine kind of fragrance a little bit because it's just so so clean there's no like sweetness to this at all it's just fresh and clean oh i just felt like this was perfect for a virgo because there's no fuss to this there's not much to it it's clean it's fresh and it'll just you know get you going simple but not basic so the last earth sign is capricorn and this is a no-brainer for me capricorns are ruled by saturn and saturn represents responsibility hard work and determination capricorns kind of like keep everybody in check they're kind of like the lady bosses of the zodiac they know what they want they're very logical they need logic behind like everything and they're kind of like quality over quantity kind of people i actually asked one of my friends that is a capricorn this and she said this exact description this is my mom's sign and so i knew exactly what perfume i was going to pick for this because this perfume is my mom's signature perfume and so i had to pick this because this is literally my mom in a perfume like every time i smell this I think of my mom because she's worn this like her whole life. Capricorns I feel like are very like classy and timeless. They love timeless pieces and like my mom is very like into her like original pieces. Like she has like original pieces and she like sticks to those things like this perfume. So this is the perfume that I chose for Capricorn. So this is Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. This is Capricorn in a perfume. This perfume is I feel like what the queen smells like. Like it's so classy, it's not offensive, it's so long lasting. This perfume will last on your skin probably for like the next week. It's not showy, it's not flashy, but it makes a statement. It's just a very sophisticated, classy perfume. The top notes of this is orange, mandarin orange, orange blossom and bergamot and then you have middle notes of mimosa jasmine turkish rose ylang ylang with base notes of tonka bean patchouli opopolnax i don't know what that is um vanilla vetiver and white musk this is just sophistication in a bottle like it's sophisticated is like you know what you want you work probably at a bank you're probably a manager a lady boss you, you just know what you're doing. This perfume reminds me of like a lady in a suit, you know? So next we're moving on to the air signs. With the air signs, we're gonna start first off with Gemini. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which is also the ruling planet for Virgos. But unlike Virgos, Geminis I feel like love to brag whereas virgos kind of let their work do the talking for them they're super analytical in that way but i feel like gemini's just love to talk like they could talk for weeks for years they just kind of love to brag about their like superiority that's kind of like my personal experience with gemini's personally and they're very outgoing they're super curious they have a billion personalities as everybody knows about gemini they're just 
very bright, playful. So the perfume that I chose for Gemini, and I thought this was so fitting for Gemini, is um, Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. So this perfume was so fitting to a Gemini because this is like a musky but floral perfume. So it kind of has like this contradicting kind of masculine and feminine energy to it so you know two personalities very gemini and i'm actually i read on the fragrantica website i'm actually gonna read exactly what it said on there it said it's a combination of um tuberose and tonka bean which represent the duality of a woman's character so there's like two sides to it floral and feminine but then you get a little bit of masculine feel to it as well so the top notes of this is almond, coffee, bergamot, and lemon. The middle notes are jasmine, sambac, tuberose, orris, Bulgarian rose, orange blossom, with base notes of tonka bean, cacao, sandalwood, vanilla, praline, cinnamon, cedar, cashmere wood, patchouli, amber, musk. This perfume is like a million different things in a perfume. And that's literally a Gemini. They're a million different people in one person. So I felt like this was super fitting to a Gemini. And yeah, it's a very playful perfume. It's clean, but it kind of, you know, has that duality to it, much like a Gemini. Okay, so the next air sign is Libra. So Libra is the scale of the zodiac. Libras are ruled by Venus, which again is the planet of love. And Libras are known to be super charming and beautiful and they're very, you know, well balanced and effortless. They don't like too much of anything, obviously. They just love everything to be in balance. I feel that the perfect perfume that is both beautiful and romantic for a Libra is, is Burberry London. So this perfume is super classy, it's super romantic, it's like a rose kind of base perfumes, it's so beautiful. It has like a perfect balance of like masculine and feminine. None of the notes in this overpower one another, everything is just super well balanced. This has top notes of pink pepper, kiwi, and rhubarb, has middle notes of jasmine, cyclamen, watermelon, with base notes of musk, sandalwood, and lemon tree. I just think all in all, this is just a beautiful, romantic, rosy kind of a fragrance and it smells super like rich and expensive. It's just like a beautiful, feminine, rich perfume. And I think this is like perfect for a Libra because it embodies that whole, you know, beautiful, charming kind of thing that Libras have going on. So the last air sign is Aquarius. Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and Saturn, which are planets of freedom and limitation. They love to be free. They're free spirits. They're known to be weird, but they love being weird. They're a good type of weird. They're super unique. They're big visionaries. They have like big visions for their lives. Yeah, they just hate to be tied down. So I felt like the perfect perfume that is perfect for an Aquarius is Ariana Grande Cloud. I mean, air sign, cloud. I, I thought that this was very fitting for an Aquarius. This perfume is just like a very light, cozy, fluffy, um, airy perfume. It's also super unique, which fits the description of an Aquarius really well. It's such a unique perfume. Like literally, it's a perfume that you've never smelled before. There's something about it that feels so cozy and warm and it just reminds you of something but like i can't pick what it reminds me of and this has top notes of bergamot pear and lavender middle notes of coconut whipped cream praline vanilla orchid with base notes of woody notes and musk i just think that this is perfect for an aquarius because it's just unique it's beautiful it's airy it's literally in a cloud so i mean what more can you ask Okay, so now we move on to the water signs. The emotional signs of the zodiac. So the first water sign I'm gonna talk about is Cancer. So Cancers are ruled by the moon, which I think is so cool and interesting. So because they are ruled by the moon, they're known to be super like emotional and very sensitive and just super in tune with their emotions. They're a very gentle sign. I feel like Cancers are kind of like the mothers of the zodiac they're very caring so i felt like the perfect perfume that i had in my collection for a cancer is this so this is valentino donna born in roma 
not to be confused with the original Valentino Donna because there's two. This is, I think, the second version. This perfume has top notes of black currant, bergamot, pink pepper. It has middle notes of jasmine tea, jasmine, jasmine sambac, with base notes of cashmere and guayac, guayac wood and bourbon vanilla. So I chose this for cancers because it's just such a warm and, oh, it just, let me spray it. Oh my god, it's such a warm and sweet scent. It's super sexy as well too. It has a little bit of like a kick to it, but all in all, it's just such a sweet fragrance, but a sophisticated sweet fragrance. It's not like Juicy Couture kind of sweet fragrance. It's more like bougier. I love this. It's super sweet. It's perfect for cancer because cancers are super sweet. It's like a really sweet, comforting vanilla scent. Okay, so next up we have Scorpio. What well, Scorpios are ruled also much like Aries by Mars, so they're known to be a little aggressive themselves as well. Scorpios are also ruled by Pluto, and Pluto is linked to the ancient god of the underworld and the dead. Um, so it kind of represents new life. So that's why Scorpios are known to be very like dark and mysterious. Uh, the most appropriate, I mean, I couldn't not have picked this for a Scorpio, Versace Crystal Noir. I mean, even by the name, I just had to pick this for a Scorpio. It's a dark fragrance. Scorpios are very emotional. They're very complex. They're dark, mysterious, and that's exactly what this fragrance is. So the top notes in this are ginger, cardamom, pepper, middle notes of orange blossom, peony, gardenia, coconut, with base notes of sandalwood, musk, and amber. It's just like a dark, musky, woody, just dark smell. I don't know, it's just very weird complex it's dark and then there's kind of like this mysterious smell to it so i thought that was you know a perfect perfume for a scorpio water sign that we have and also the last sign of the zodiac is pisces so the ruling planet from pisces is neptune which is the planet of mystery and illusion pisces have like this sort of like magical element to them which i think is so cool they're very sensitive my best friend is a pisces and i love her she's so sensitive very like spiritual people they're very deep they're very compassionate people they're kind of like empaths in a way i feel like like i feel like they kind of absorb energies of everybody which kind of makes them a little overwhelmed in a way because they're kind of just constantly absorbing like not just their own feelings but also like taking on other people's feelings and what i thought was super interesting i'm gonna read actually what i wrote about pisces so because pisces is the last sign of the zodiac it kind of contains aspects of all of the zodiac signs which is really cool it's kind of like all of them and so they're said to be very like wise i'm gonna read you guys exactly what i wrote here because i think this part is so interesting so the symbol of the pisces is obviously the two fish going in different directions uh, it's also a representation of its infinite duality basically one fish represents spiritual evolution as it reaches the other dimension because it's the last sign of the zodiac obviously while the other is a symbol of our human experience in the physical dimension so I think that that's so cool. So they kind of have like one foot, you know, in the other world kind of thing, which I think is just so interesting. Like Pisces, you're such cool people. I feel like I get along really well with Pisces. I mean, like I said, my best friend is a Pisces. Um, I actually have two perfumes for Pisces because I couldn't just pick one. And they're right here. These perfumes, I could not, I, I just could not pick one of these. So I chose Paco Rabanne Olympia, of course. This is like an aquatic perfume. I mean, fish, Pisces. This perfume has top notes of green mandarin, water jasmine, um, ginger flower, has middle notes of vanilla, salt, with base notes of ambergris, cashmere wood, and sandalwood. I talked about this too in my uh, perfume haul that I had a couple videos back. This is just such a good, sweet, but aquatic perfume. I just think this is so fitting for a Pisces. And then the other perfume that I could not, not pick for a Pisces is Jennifer Lopez Miami Glow. This has to be like one of my top favorite perfumes. I have like another backup of this perfume. This perfume is actually discontinued, um, but you can still find it on Amazon. You could also find it like in random perfume stores. And it is discontinued, but you could definitely find it. And I'll link a link for this in 
um, the description, probably like an Amazon link. But this perfume is so good. This perfume smells like a tropical vacation. It has that like sunscreeny vibe, but not in like fake sunscreen weird. It just kind of has this like just delicious tropical beach aquatic feel to it. Um, it has top notes of passion fruit, coconut milk, and pink grapefruit with middle notes of cyclamen, orange blossom, heliotrope, and base notes of amber, musk, and vanilla. It's just a delicious, delicious perfume. And it also, for a celebrity fragrance, stays on the skin for so long. The longevity of this is amazing. So that basically concludes my video for all of the zodiac signs and what perfumes I would pick for them. I hope you like this video. I know it was kind of a different video, but I really wanted to do this. I thought it was so interesting and I really took my time to research about each sign and really kind of think about which one I thought would be most suitable. And let me know in the comments what sign you are and what perfume you like to wear because I would want to know if there is actually like a correlation. So yeah, please let me know what sign you are and if you're into astrology, I would love to have a conversation about that. But with all that being said, I hope you like this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.